Here are four fun ways to use the new Insta360 Invisible Dive Case. Under Over Looping Video Because of the refraction of the water, traditional 360 cameras can't stitch the image properly. With the new 360 Dive Case, it optically distorts the lenses to properly stitch the images together, and even crops the selfie stick out, just like above water. So to make this video, I first filmed the above water portion on a bridge that had a pool on both sides. I started with the camera mounted to the extended selfie stick just above the water surface and rotated it like an arch over my head and into the water on the other side. Then I did the same thing below the surface of the water with the invisible dive case while I was snorkeling in the ocean. Using Insta360 Studio, I reframed both shots so that I'd be centered in the frame for the duration of each shot. And then in editing software, I lined everything up so that it looped speed ramped it to match my music, and voila! Clone yourself. I've used 360 cameras to clone myself above water, but I've never been able to do the same effect underwater. This is because with traditional 360 cameras, the magnification of the water makes stitching 360 footage underwater impossible. The new invisible dive case is designed with this in mind, and optically corrects the footage so it can stitch properly, just like above water. So to make this video, I dropped my Insta360 X3 to the ocean floor, then swam down and circled around the camera before returning back to the surface. In After Effects, I used the rotoscope tool to isolate myself from the background of the image and then repeated the shot over and over to clone myself. Then in editing software, I used the 360 reframe tool to animate the camera movement to the music. Underwater Hyperlapse I brought the Insta360 X3 and dive case with me on a snorkeling tour in Mexico. There were so many fascinating things to see along the way, but I was a little disappointed because the tour group was always moving and I never really had time to stop and frame up specific shots. Fortunately, being able to shoot in 360 underwater meant that I didn't have to worry about framing anything up perfectly. I could just hit record and point the camera roughly in the direction of the thing I was passing by and frame up the perfect shot later. I didn't even mean to shoot this hyperlapse of the ship, but when I was scrubbing through my footage from the snorkel tour, I got the idea. All I had to do was speed up the footage of me swimming by the sunken ship and then reframe the 360 shot so that it had a cool, otherwise impossible hyperlapse effect. The X3 with the invisible dive case really is the perfect underwater camera. I can just focus on not drowning and then get cool shots when I'm safely back on land. Space elevator effect from underwater to the sky. I brought the Insta360 X3 with the new invisible dive case to Tobermory where there are a bunch of sunken shipwrecks. I had a ton of fun free diving around the wrecks with my good friend Jeff, but when I realized how clearly you can see this wreck from the sky, I got this idea. The invisible dive case floats, so we lowered the X3 in the dive case to the bottom of the shipwreck and then let it go and watched it rise to the surface. For above the water, I used the Insta360 sphere mounted to my drone. I hovered above the surface of the water just above the wreck and then flew straight upwards. In post, I lined up the two shots so they were facing the same direction at the transition point, and then speed ramped the full clip to match the length of the song I picked out. Then, using the 360 reframe tool in Premiere, I keyframed the camera movement exactly the way I wanted it to look, 